relationship of the coefficients and the roots of the quadratic equation. Tara't pag-usapan natin yan dito. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at mag -enjoy. Hi everyone! Welcome sa lesson natin ngayong araw. So today's topic, ito ang pag-uusapan natin. Relationship of coefficients and the roots of quadratic equation. Now, what should you expect from this topic? So expect nyo na wala tayong humor drill because what we're going to do here for today is just derivation of formula. Now, through this relationship kasi ng coefficients tapos ng roots, Pwede tayo makakuha ng pattern para mas makuha ng mabilis yung sum sa kayong product ng roots by just relating the coefficients and the roots itself. And at the same time, we can also create a pattern kung saan pwede nating makuha ng mas mabilis yung quadratic equation kapag imiligay sa atin ni teacher ay yung sum lang tas yung product ng roots o kaya naman binigay lang ni teacher yung roots ng quadratic equation. So yun. So, yun ang magiging lesson natin ngayon. Derivation of formula. Para mas mapabilis ang, para mas mapabilis ang pag-solve natin. Ayan. So, let's start. Of course, since we are discussing about quadratic equation, review natin yung standard form ng quadratic equation. So, standard form niya ay ganito, ba? Diba? ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, wherein ang a, b, and c are known numbers. Ibig sabihin may values yan. Or, those are the coefficients na tinatawag. Pero ang a cannot be equal to 0. Kasi nga, kaya ito naging quadratic kasi naka-squared. So kung gagawin mong 0 ang a, mawawala ito. Kasi 0 x squared ay 0. So tatanggalin yon So hindi yun pwede. Magiging linear na lang yon So kapag ganon, hindi na siya quadratic. Kasi nga linear na siya. Ayan. Alright, so let's start. Okay. So umpisahan natin sa paggamit nitong quadratic equation. Yung standard form ng quadratic equation natin. So, ito, uh, we'll label this as quad our equation number 1. So, ayan. Ito, kung mapapansin natin, in terms of coefficients pa siya. In terms of A, B, and C. Yung A, B, C are coefficients. So, sabi natin sa title kanina, we're going to relate the roots tapos coefficients. So, kailangan makahanap tayo ng roots. And, uh, that will only happen kung maglilet tayo ng certain values. For the meantime, so let tayo ng something para makuha natin yung quadratic equation in terms of the roots naman. Kasi ito ay in terms of coefficients. So gawin nat gawa natin ng paraan na makakuha ng in terms of the roots. So ito ang gagawin natin. So we are letting alpha and beta be equal to the roots of quadratic equation. So gagamitin lang natin ito para makuha yung equation na in terms of the roots naman. So, alpha and beta be equal to the roots of quadratic equation. So, di ba bakit dalawa, sir? Kasi nga po, di ba ang quadratic equation, dalawa yung solutions or dalawa yung roots. So, ibig sabihin, dalawa din talaga yung ililet natin. So, that is alpha and beta. Siya ang magiging uh, roots natin this time. Ayan. So, kung roots yan, di ba ganito yun? May x sub 1 tas may x sub 2. Ayan. So, kung sila ang roots nito, Ito yung x sub 1, yung a, tas ang x sub 2 ay b. Right? Now, ang gagawin natin dito, we're going to work backwards. So, mula dito sa naging sagot ng root, na roots, ibabalik natin siya doon sa original equation. Pero kapag nasag nasagotan na natin yan, hindi na siya in terms of coefficients. In terms of siya sa roots. Let's do that. Work backwards. Backwards, pabalik tayo. So, ilipat si alpha, ilipat si beta. At yung lalabas x minus a is equal to 0, naging x na lang. Okay. Ganun yun. Tapos, ito naman magiging x minus b is equal to 0. Ito lang naman x sub 1 tapos x sub 2. Nilabel lang yan para malaman na uh, ito yung dalawang roots. Ayan. Ayan. Tapos, after nito, so, magiging na tong x minus alpha tapos x minus beta. Tapos, pagsasamahin lang natin. Ayan. 
So, kasi dito naman talaga sila nagmula. Okay, kapag pinagsama yung dalawa, ito yung magiging itsura ng equation. Ayan. So, hindi pa rin tapos dyan ang usapan. Kasi nga, sabi natin, kailangan siya maging gantong form, pero in terms na siya sa roots. Ayan. So, how do we do that? We're just going to do the FOIL method. Alright. So, by doing that, ito yung lalabas. x squared minus beta x minus alpha x plus alpha beta is equal to 0. Now, if you're going to observe, eto, etong dalawa ay may common factor. Diba? May common factor sila na negative x. So, pwede natin siyang i-factor muna. Ayan. Kapag fin-factor natin ito, ganito ang magiging itsura. x squared minus alpha plus beta multiplied by x plus alpha beta is equal to 0. Bakit natin fin-factor? Kasi nga, kailangan natin makuha yung form na kagaya nitong equation 1, pero hindi siya in terms of coefficients na ABC, in terms na siya sa roots natin, wherein ang nilet natin na roots ay alpha and beta. Ayan. So, ato na yung magiging equation number 2 natin. So, meron na tayong dalawang equation. Ang equation 1 natin, galing, or ang gamit ay coefficients. Ang equation 2 natin ay gamit naman yung mga roots. Now, kung i-observe natin, kung ito ang roots, alpha tapos beta, therefore, ito ay sum ng roots natin. So, by just observing this equation, kaya na natin makakuha ngayon ng pattern. Bakit? Kung ito ang roots natin pala, may alpha tapos may beta, which wherein siya ang roots na nilat natin. Therefore, eto pala, sa second term natin, pwede dong makuha yung sum ng roots. Again, sa second term dito, kayang makuha yung sum of the roots. Sum, bakit? Plus kasi. Plus yung alpha and beta na roots na nilat natin. And by observing this, yung nasa last term din, alpha and beta, eto rin ay product ng roots. Ayan. So, kung ito ang sum of the roots as product of the roots, pwede natin gamitin ang equation number 2 para gawin siyang ganito. x squared minus yung alpha beta which is sum of the roots, ilalagay mo doon. x plus the product of the roots, yung ab, is equal to 0. Now, anong kagandahan nitong idea na nakuha natin? This one, Etong sum of the roots and product of the roots, gagamitin natin ito kapag kukuhanin natin yung equation, kapag ibinigay sa atin ni teacher yung sum and product of the roots. Ito yung magiging shortcut pattern natin. Gagamitin mo to para makuha mo ng mas mabilis yung quadratic equation. So, bakit natin uh, ginawang ganito? Kasi nga, since etong equation number 2 ay in terms of the roots, pwede nating sabihin talaga to na ang sum of the roots tas ang product of the roots, pwede mong i-substitute agad dito sa form na equation. Ayan. Next. Next thing we have to do, ayan, sa so kopyahin natin yung tatlong equations na nakuha natin. So, equation number 1 mula doon sa pinaka-quadratic equation natin in terms of coefficients. Tapos, eto naman, in terms of the roots na siya. Pero, Kung makapansin nyo, naka-x squared yung first term. Second term ay naka-x din. Tapos constant yung alpha beta sa dulo natin. So, same sila ng form. Now, ang goal naman natin is for this equation number 1, gayahin natin yung form ng equation number 2. Paano? Dapat mawala yung a, a dito sa first equation natin. So, dapat, para maging ganito siyang form, i over a natin lahat yan, or di-divide natin yung lahat sa a, para maging x squared na lang yung unahan, kagaya ng equation number 2. So, let's do that. So, divide all terms by a, maging itong x squared na lang, which is, siya yung goal natin na mapalabas, tapos yung plus b over a x, then plus c over a is equal to 0. Ito ay 0 na lang, kasi nga 0 over a is just 0, and that is equation number 3. Ayan. So, again, ang ginawa lang natin dito, ginawa natin ng paraan na mapunta siya sa gantong form din, sa form ng number 2, na naka-x squared lang dapat. 
Bakit? Here's the reason why. Gagamitin natin itong dalawang equations na ito. Yung 2 sa kayong 3. Ayan. 2 yan, sorry. So, this is equation number 2. Ayan. So, itong equation number 2, gagamitin natin siya. Tapos, yung equation number 3. So, paano? Through this, itong dalawang equations na meron tayo, makukuha natin yung shortcut na hinahanap natin sa pagsasolve ng sum and product of the roots. Paano? So, since itong dalawa ay galing din naman sa same quadratic equation, di ba? Same lang siya, hindi naman na tayo gumalaw ng value ng x doon. So, ibig sabihin, ang roots nitong dalawa ay pareho lang. So, kung pareho sila, pwede mo sila i-compare. Ibig sabihin, yung coefficient sa kayong roots ay pwede mo i-compare kasi nga, same lang naman ang x na values dyan. Paano yon? Ganto. So, since ito yung sum, okay, in terms of roots, tapos in terms of coefficients, pero relate natin yung dalawa. Ayan. So, atong dalawa, pwede mong i-relate. Yung negative alpha plus beta is equal to b over a. Again, yung dalawang katabi ni x. Ayan. So, pwede mo siyang i-equate kasi the same lang naman talaga yun ang value. So, we're comparing now yung roots tapos yung coefficients. Ano makukuha natin dito? Ganto po yun. Para makuha natin yung roots, eto po ang magiging result. Ayan, ito rin pala. Pwede mo rin i-compare si alpha beta doon sa C over A. Kasi pareho silang constant na nasa dulo. So, continuing, pwede natin makuha yung sum ng roots kapag ito yung naging formula natin. Yung negative B over A. Ayan. So, ito yung magiging formula natin sa pagkuha ng roots. So, kapag given sa atin yung equation ni teacher, so, by just observing yung coefficients na meron tayo, isubstitute mo lang dito yung B sa kayong A, tapos negative dapat sa unahan, makukuha mo yung sum without you solving the roots. Kahit hindi mo na isolve yung roots, pwede mo nang gamitin ito para makuha yung sum. Ayan. So, eto naman, so wala namang problema dito kasi naka-product na yan, is equal to C over A. So, that is the formula na gagamitin natin kapag pinahanap ng teacher yung product. So, product of the roots, which is C over A. Ayan. So, yung product na yun, kapag given sa atin yung quadratic equation, pwede natin masolve kahit hindi tayo dumadaan sa long process ng solve mo na yung roots, tapos saka ma-multiply. So, ito yung shortcut na gagamitin natin. So, just observe the coefficients, tapos substitute mo dito, then yun na ang magiging product ng roots natin. Ayan. So, sa hinabahaba ng pinagsasabi natin dito, ito lang naman yung kailangan nating kuhanin. Ito yung ideas na essential na kailangan ninyong alam. Ayan. Sum of the roots. Kapag pinahalap ni teacher ang sum of the roots, kailangan alam mo to Yung negative b over a. Ayan. You're going to use that kapag tinanong kung ano yung sum. Ito naman. Siluhin mo to C over A, gagamitin mo yan kapag tinanong ni teacher ano yung product ng roots given the equation, the quadratic equation. Tapos ito naman, ito yung pattern na kakailanganin natin, na shortcut natin, para makuha yung uh, equation, yung quadratic equation na pinapahanap sa atin ni teacher. Ayan. Use when asked to find quadratic equation when sum and products of roots are given. O kaya, Pwede mo rin itong gamitin kapag given lang ay yung roots. Ayan. So, these are the three ideas that you have to memorize or to know para mas madali tayong mag-solve ng quadratic equation. Ayan. So, thank you so much for watching. That's all for today. So, I hope na intindihan ninyo yung lesson natin. And, you have to master this para mas mabilis tayong makapag-solve ng mga formula. Thank you so much for watching. I want to see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did, please don't forget to, for to forget. <laughs> please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated ka sa mga latest videos natin dito sa Humor PH. 
And please do share this to your friends as well to the parents who need this lesson the most. And don't forget that you deserve more. You can learn more. And you can be more. Hashtag YouMoreBH. Bye-bye. See you in our next video.